Welcome to Gaming News, a show where we talk about all the latest in gaming. And boy, do we have some doozies for you guys. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to be talking about this Call of Duty. Leaked footage for, well, Battle Royale mode. The mode that people, I guess, have been waiting for. No idea. Not a Call of Duty fan. But I thought, you know what? Why the hell not cover it? Now, this is really uh, interesting. Didn't really read the article, but uh, yeah, this person uh, was able to release some footage that he got from someone else and uploaded it to his YouTube channel. Have not heard anything whether or not he's gonna, you know, face anything or whatever. Because I mean, you know how I guess game developers are these days, like 2K game or 2K, right? Rockstar, uh, with just ripping people apart for stuff like this. But apparently people have been able to kind of get in and into this mode, apparently, kind of glitch in. Uh, but yeah, according to this, uh, there's actually, well, some gameplay. It's showing you kind of like, the, I guess, the basics of looting. It looks like a little tutorial for you. So you kind of like move around and stuff like that. And it's uh, uh, pretty interesting, uh, as you can see. For the most part, it's really... Kind of seems really like simple format. Nothing too uh, crazy. But yeah, it looks... Well, it just looks normal. I'm thinking maybe a lot of people would actually really be into this. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think about this. You think this is going to be a really great one? Or you think it's just going to be like, oh, okay. It's just a new mode. Like there's going to be a new Battle Royale. Which is in a way kind of strange. Considering the fact that they still have the Black Ops one. Uh, and I don't know, why would you just jump ship? Especially if, like, the majority of the Call of Duties are basically, you know, quite similar in some way. But let me know if if this is different, if there, this these features that this game has uh, is different from the other Call of Duties, and if you're excited to play this. Now, I think this is going to be kind of like a free download uh, for those who already purchased the game. Not much has really been said at all just you know this like information but most likely that's what it's gonna be and most likely it's gonna be a lot of gigabytes obviously uh they've been kind of chastised call of duty uh activision for well the file size about what was it a hundred hundred gigs for the game so let me know down in the comments below uh if you're gonna get this if you're gonna literally delete a bunch of other games and just have like call of duty and possibly just fortnite in there I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Is this gonna? Do you care about this at all, or do you? Or are you excited? Yeah. Let me know down in the comments below. And next, we're gonna be moving on to something else. Uh, well, uh, next is of course this. I know you've been hearing it a lot about it, like whole coronavirus, about you know places being canceled. And yeah, apparently there's a lot of locations actually being canceled because of it. Uh, G was it GDC from what I believe uh, is actually being canceled. There's a lot of it's there's no break out there, but because of it, they decided to basically postpone it and you know do it another time, possibly during the summer, kind of like where E3 kind of takes place. But something. Uh, it's really devastating for those who are kind of into developers and we're looking forward to showcasing their games. So we're going to see if this, how this is going to affect them, if they're going to be able to get their games out there. They're going to be able to, uh, there, there was some, uh, something that, uh, GDC said, uh, the people there, they said that you will be able to get kind of like your refunds and stuff like that. Anybody who bought tickets, I'm not sure so much about the people who purchased a booth or, you know what what's the cost of that and they're going to be reimbursed hopefully they are there's a lot of youtubers as well reaching out to people reaching out to developers saying hey if you want you can showcase your game on my channel you know we'll talk we'll have like a you know little like interview kind of thing uh, online i think that's wonderful i think that's great that a lot of uh, these uh, youtubers are you know gaming youtubers are going out there and going out of their way to kind of accommodate for them to be like, hey, I know this is this is so messed up, but if you guys need somewhere to kind of like showcase your work, hey, come to me. And they're doing it to the indie developers, not so much as the bigger developers, considering they can afford it, but the smaller developers who cannot afford it. So they're reaching out. I know Angry Joe is one of them, as well as I think Game Ranks and uh, possibly ACG. 
So with that being said, yeah, you know, spread the word if you know any game developer. For some reason, you're watching this and you know some people. Uh, reach out to them and let them know that there's a lot of people out there who want, you know, to talk to them and kind of showcase their game. Hey, I'd freaking do it. But, yeah, I'm a little ass YouTuber, so whatever. If you want to, go for it. Uh, I always showcase a lot of, like, little indie games, too. Uh, but, yeah, here it is, though. Uh, it's being postponed. They're still kind of in the works of when they're going to be doing this. Uh, there's a lot of lot of uh, cancellations going on, a lot of uh, other ones uh, being canceled. It's affecting a lot of people, not just gaming, but uh, other other things as well, such as wrestling. That's something that I'm really into. Uh, but I've heard that even, like, possibly the biggest event, WrestleMania, might be canceled, might be pushed until maybe later, you know, further down the line because of this whole, you know, coronavirus thing. But yeah, that's something to kind of look forward to. I don't want to say look forward to, but that's something to watch out for and see what's going to be happening. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, let me know if uh, if you're even going to be going out to like even E3 or this event. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts on this? Are you excited to go or are you kind of like, you know what, I'm going to wait. I'm going to just watch it at home and not really go to that event. Yeah. Let me know the, let me know what you guys think about that. Next and foremost, speaking of like just cancellation, all these different things, PlayStation, the PlayStation uh, Four. We're gonna talk about this. So, the D, the I guess PS Now has come out, right? It's been out. They're getting more games on there, but if the the service, from what I've just heard. It's just, atro it's just atrocious, and I don't think anyone really cares about this. I mean, do you care? Do, does anyone really care about the PS Now? They, they have horrible streaming, a lot of, like, just things, you know, and things going wrong, and no one is really that interested in this. So of course, they have all these other games uh, that are going to be available, or that are available as well on PS Now, but... I don't see it as something that's competitive or that's something that's entertaining. And just so you know, the price has dropped in other countries. Yes, other countries, the price has dropped. In the U.S., from what I've known, from what I've seen, is that it's still the same price. But in other countries, apparently the price has dropped, uh, even for PlayStation Plus. Play <clears throat> PlayStation Plus is now, I think, in other countries like Russia, uh, it is now at possibly like 40 40 50 dollars or so from the usual 60 ps now has dropped about to half to possibly like five or five dollars or maybe six uh yeah it's dropped drastically and the thing is what's it, what's it going to mean for uh well the united states our price is going to drop here as well uh i don't really see that much interest in getting you know other than playing online that's the only reason to get PlayStation Plus. The two games that you get every month, a lot of people are just seeing kind of repetitiveness or just seeing games that they're really not interested in. Games that you're like, what? How is this? A f this is game is free already. I've seen Apex on there. Like, are you kidding me? Apex is free, but you're putting it in PlayStation Plus? It's a I've ranted about this before, but yeah, I digress. This is... <clears throat> if, if you're interested, Control... Dead or, Dead or Alive 5, uh, NASCAR Heat 3, Knights of Azul, I don't know what that is, Romance of Three Kingdoms, three, I don't know, Shadow Tomb Raider, Tokiden Toki Kiwami, I don't know what that is, Warriors, like most of these games I have no idea, Wolfenstein 2, okay, I've heard of that, but I heard it's bad as well, but for what I'm seeing, it's, this is not, I don't know. It, I don't see this as any competition at all. I don't see it as anyone really wanting to get this. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's let's have a conversation about this. I want to know who is this is for. Like, are you actually purchasing this, and why are you purchasing this? It's like I mean, I get it, right? If you don't want to purchase games all the time, I could see it as something viable. But how good is the service? Like, seriously, because you're basically streaming this. I don't think you're even downloading the game. You're just basically streaming the game. So let me know what the, what's up What's up with that. Because I'm, I'm trying to look it up. 
but usually a lot of things like are kind of unreliable it's untoo sure but yeah just everything i hear it's not good about playstation now uh but going on with the whole playstation thing the ps4 firmware update uh apparently this is going to be a lot of changes or yeah like it says important changes <clears throat> And that has to do with kind of like uh, with your apps. You're going to actually be able to rearrange and create a folder and put your apps in there. Because I am sick and tired of having these other apps shown to me that I'm like, I don't use. There's only basically three that I really use, okay, the, that I use on my PS4. Okay, here it is. YouTube, Netflix, and Pluto TV. Only three that I use uh, for my PS4 on TV to watch it. That's it. That's all I freaking use. That's, I mean, seriously. That's all I use. So, I mean, do you, what, what apps do you guys use? I mean, those are the only ones I use and I get tired of the YouTube app being moved, moved and further back because of something else just came out. So I'm tired of that. Please, I'm glad that this is out, but this is in beta first. Apparently, they decided to put this in beta. Why? I have no idea, but they decided to put it in beta. So now the rest of us have to, you know, wait to test it out. So we'll see, hopefully, if that continues on uh, when it gets, I guess, officially launched. Soon, I hope. Soon. Uh, but yeah. And speaking about just all this PS4 stuff, we're going to move on to this Half-Life Alex. But PlayStation 5 uh, is basically being delayed. The PS, like, uh, uh, like that, I'm just saying that PS5 is being delayed because there is nothing that has come out. No news, no update, no anything since Xbox launched theirs since they announced their title nothing has been said i mean it's a fact it's ridiculous but it's a fact they haven't they only released what their freaking logo they've released like certain they thought they released some specs thinking oh yeah we're gonna be the best but then when xbox came out with theirs it's like nope so now hey, the ps4 is the ps5 it seems like it's going back to the drawing board and it's, it's funny because that's what happened with the PS4 Pro. I thought the PS4 Pro was going to be their new console. You know, the new, the PS5. But then they came out, no, this is the PS4 Pro. And it's like, okay, what are the specs? And to my surprise, they were kind of a letdown. Because even Xboxes were better than that. Especially because they come with a 4K player. And the PS4 Pro does not. They can stream, they can stream it, but yeah, they can't. They can't really do anything else. I mean, you, I mean, you, and it usually gets upscaled. So there's a lot of things going on there that's kind of just disappointing. So it begs, and of course, the PS4 Pro hasn't been doing well. Why? Why? Because they haven't announced any really sales for the PS4 Pro. Regularly, you would be like, hey, PS4 Pro, this is what's going on. You know, this is how many we sold. Because they've been doing that with the PS4, but not with the PS4 Pro. So, I just wanted to say that it's, you know, in my opinion, I believe that it is being delayed. Nothing has come out. There's, I don't believe that it will come out at all this year. I think it'll, more will be talked about it, maybe. Maybe teased a little more. But yeah, considering the fact that they still have so, like, they really have to catch up to the Xbox now. And they're just falling behind. And considering that their price point might be way too much, I think it we're, we're in for uh, some interesting uh, gaming warfare coming soon. That's just my opinion. All right, now let's move on to this, which is, of course. Half-Life Alex. This is supposed to be the third one or 2.5, whatever the hell you want to call it. But yeah, video gameplay has been shown. And I will say this, this game looks kind of interesting. I'm never played Half-Life at all. I know, ah, blasphemy. Don't really understand it. 
I think it was for PS3. Never played it though. I don't really have like feel like I need to play it. Uh, like in complete honesty, uh, it looks like you're just gonna be able to kind of teleport wherever you want and stuff like that. Which it's like what? Like what's the what's the point then? You can just basically outrun all these things, right? I mean, like what? Like. I don't know, I just, I don't like it. It's, it seems like it's just bad gameplay design. I mean, especially if you're launching a title like this, right? Uh, this definitely looks like it's kind of a staged thing right here. Yeah, obviously, see? It's definitely staged. Because, I mean, you had a lot of freaking options to do this right. And considering the price that you're going to have to pay to play this game, holy crap. Unless you have it already. Unless you have some of these already and a PC to freaking run it. You're going to have to dish out, well, from what I see right here, the, uh, what was it? 64 gigabytes, right? For 200 bucks. For the Oculus Go? Like, what the hell? 64 gigs so that, and then there but then you don't even have these I don't even know if this has any of these things here but not five hundred dollars plus the 60 to get this and it's only for VR no other thing I think this is I don't think the sales are gonna do great I think some people will buy it obviously that have VR and exclusively on Steam by the way with which Valve owns so you kind of have to ask yourself, okay, is this is this game worth it? Are people actually going to go out of their way to purchase this game uh, to pay that amount of money? Personally, I think some will, but I don't think it's gonna do an astronomical, you know, amount of sales. I honestly do not. And who's to say whether or not it full if it will work uh, with your computer? Considering you know, I mean, if you have a powerful PC or maybe you know it may work. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, this game doesn't. It seems okay. It seems like kind of just updated, but it doesn't seem like this is. Oh my God! I have to get this. It just seems like okay. They made this kind of gimmicky thing it it doesn't seem like it's going to be you know that great I mean I could be wrong like I said I'm not really into these types of games I will I mean maybe if I played it but just from what I see right here like what like I, I get certain aspects of it but or how long are you going to be able to play this? Some people can only maybe stay for 30 minutes, an hour at most. When people are going to want to play this like crazy. So we'll see exactly what the, what transpires from this. Uh, and if it's going to be any good or not. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, it, I'm pretty sure it will be, you know, at least a good game. But I don't think this is going to be something that a lot of people are like, oh my god. You know? It's, I don't know, it seems, alright, this is an really alright game. I like, seriously, is anyone excited for this? I mean, I can't play the game. I don't have a PC. I have a PS4. You know, I have my MacBook, of course. But yeah, that's all I have. So, I'm not really too worried about that. Like, too worried about anything about that. Like, I mean, if you guys play it, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this? If you if you purchase this game and the, with the with the VR headset, if it's a lot of fun, you know, let me know. I got kind of motion sickness when I had when I put on a VR headset, the PlayStation one, I think. But I was driving; it was a driving game, and it was just bad. It it made me so nauseous. Uh, yeah. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, what do you think about everything that you heard? What do you think? Do you think that? Uh, PS5 is going to be announced. What do you think about Half-Life? Alex as well. And do you think that PS5 will even remotely will, will even compete with the Xbox's powerful console? I mean, that console 
is basically kind of it's basically a PC tower, and they're trying to. They're, this is gonna be for more than a decade. That's what they said, possibly like twelve years or more. Like who knows? Who knows how long it'll last? But yeah, it's so goddamn powerful. So we'll see exactly what PlayStation's gonna do. You know, they do have exclusive games. But nothing has been announced as of late. Everything is coming out for the PS4. And then you have the PS4 Pro. They can do upscaled 4K or 4K whatever. You have that. So is this is this a Pro version of the PS4 Pro? The console that's a PS5 that's supposed to come out? Let me know your thoughts uh, down below. And until next time, keep on gaming. Bye.